Well, I'm back here in Parksville, and this time it's pretty much summer weather. It's still spring, it's still April, but it is beautiful today. So, anyway, I'm putting on the Silver Project um, upper strut uh, bearings, and the only thing that I needed to do to make it work properly is add a half inch ID a heavy duty washer on top of the upper perch because um, they didn't line perfectly. Um, the spherical ball end is um, smaller landing area than uh, the, the OEM unit, so didn't work with the, the ground control upper perch. So, you know, put these in and start to playing with the lamp in a few minutes. Well, the front I've got sat at negative 2. I was going to go for negative 2.5, but can't quite get there on one side, so negative 2 it is on both sides at the front. The rears are negative 1.1, which is the factory, which is fine because they don't do much work. Um, so these plates look uh, the part, they look good. That one's set pretty much in the middle, and then on the driver's side, this one's full in. So it just shows you this. Maybe the frame's not quite straight. There was an accident over in the corner over here. Didn't seem to be a, a bad one, but there had been a fender that got crunched. But I checked all the squareness of the frame before I welded it up, and it seemed to be bang on. So it's also this, I couldn't get down below I could I couldn't get enough adjustability in the um, the stock mechanism so I've had to compensate up above which is one of the reasons why it, this one has to work harder to to get it into alignment so anyway it is what it is well car up and down six or seven times wheels on and off doing my toe shooting for one eighth toe out using my long acres racing toe plates and tapes and I got it so I've got uh, in the back 65 and a half and on the front 65 and 5 eighths and if you sight along the edge of the top of each of these long acre plates you end up aligning it exactly with the outside edge of the rear wheels on both sides when the steering wheel is straight ahead. So we have lift off. I got my two degrees of negative so it looks right on the front. One and a bit on the rear and uh, yeah so this is straight and the steering wheel is straight so we are we are good for a test drive tomorrow once I've put the accelerometer in fully and done a few other things. I have to re-tape this uh, strip. I got new strips because uh, it, uh, I used uh, impact adhesive. It's supposed to work like a hot dam. With this particular material, maybe it's the type of rubber, it didn't stick very well. So I'm using um, another type of British uh, polyurethane glue product. And I'll try that tomorrow with have to clean all this glue off and prep it and then put it on again and uh, then I'll be happy. So I pulled the plugs and I um, spun the motor and it took 30 seconds to get 80 pounds of pressure just spinning it. Um, no pressure at all for 20 seconds at 200 and something RPM. So, crazy crazy how long it takes. Um, anyway, I'm going to uh, fire it up for the first time in a long time now. See if I get any oil leaks. Right, she's running smoothly. Let me give her a wash. Go for a little drive and just uh, check out the alignment. And uh, then next time I'm back here, it's going to the track.
Um, there were a few drops of oil uh, under the pan, but the, I checked everywhere. The pan is absolutely sealed in, the oil pan. Um, it, it may have been oil from another location, possibly uh, some leftover oil from last time when it sprayed everywhere and I may not have cleaned it out. Who knows, I may find another spot. But, uh, yeah, little splatters of oil here and there. But, as I said, the seal itself around the oil pan is good. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is call it a day, come back here. I'm going to put the road tires, the street tires back on it, drive it around extensively on the street, and really shake it and bake it, um, and make sure that the oil system is fully functional. Then I'll put uh, the car on the track. But I figure I should do some road testing first, and... Uh, Enjoy the car on the road, and then, uh, God, I forgot how much power this thing's got. It's crazy. It's just a little bit out of control, but it uh, feels amazing. Anyway, yeah, so just sort it out a bit more, and uh, and then take it to the track. Going well, back on the ferry, heading back to Vancouver. So that's an island called New Island on Vancouver Island. And there is Portugal.